Cody Rhodes to betray Roman Reigns and turn heel at Bad Blood During the latest episode of Friday Night Smackdown, Roman Reigns finally made his much-anticipated comeback on the blue brand and rescued undisputed WWE Champion Cody Rhodes from an attack by the Bloodline after the latter defeated Solo Sicko in a steel cage match to retain his title on the show. Later on during the show, the American Nightmare and the original Tribal Chief even had an intense face-off and the former told the latter that he was the face of the Stanford-based company now. However, before things could escalate further, Solo and Jacob Fatu interrupted the duo, and in a sensational twist, Rhodes and Reigns ended up signing a contract for a tag team match pitched by Solo at Bad Blood 2024. There is a possibility that Rhodes could betray Reigns at Bad Blood 2024 could leave fans in shock if the American Nightmare betrays the head of the table. A possible reason behind Cody turning his back on Roman could be due to the former being suspicious that the latter was acting well only because of a trap set by The Rock. The undisputed WWE Champion wanted to waste no time and before the 39-year-old star showed his true colors, Rhodes decided to strike first. This could be the foundation for the trilogy match between Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes. However, the trilogy match could be the perfect spot for the return of the final boss, who could initially portray that he was there to help Roman clinch the title he lost at WrestleMania XL. However, in a shocking turn of events, the 52-year-old star could end up betraying the original tribal chief and possibly revealing that he was the true mastermind behind the downfall of the original bloodline. On the latest edition of the Busted Open Radio podcast, WWE legend Mark Henry shared his thoughts on the unexpected alliance of Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes. The world's strongest man felt that Rhodes and Reigns would not work well as a tag team and would eventually end up losing the tag team match against Solo Sikoa and Jacob Fatu at Bad Blood 2024. Mark Henry said, I think it's good. I don't think they're going to work well sick together as a tag team because once one of them is in, he's going to try to finish it. You know, like, Cody's going to try to finish it on his own. Roman's getting in, the last thing he's going to do is tag Cody in to help him. So that's going to be the demise of their being a tag team. WWE can have all the plans in the world that they want. WWE can plan to do Rock vs. Cody. WWE can plan to do Rock vs. Roman. But ultimately, when you look at Cody and Roman and you see them in the ring together, you may come to the conclusion, as we head towards April, there's only one duo in the history of WWE that has the ability to headline to main event three consecutive WrestleManias. WWE Bad Blood 2024 is going to be a crucial show. Fans would be excited to witness as to what will happen when the American Nightmare and the original Tribal Chief clash against the Bloodline. So what are your thoughts on Cody Rhodes betraying Roman Reigns? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one.